earlier this year, um, I was asked if I wanted to take part in an NFT project. So to create some sketches and drawings of vintage cars and classic cars that people would then um, trade, own and collect and trade on, on the NFT sites. Um, but I refused. I, I'd already looked into these and decided that they weren't my cup of tea. Um, if you look up NFT websites where you can buy and trade these things, you'll see that most of the art is really not that nice. It's not something you'd particularly want to put on the wall necessarily. And in most cases, you wouldn't get a physical thing to hang on the wall anyway. So they're a bit strange in that way that you just get a JPEG file and um, some kind of documentation saying that you temporarily own it. So it made me wonder why why people were getting involved in them at all, really. And I, all I could think of was that people were not getting excited by the art, but by getting excited by the idea of making some money, um, which for me isn't really what art's about. But it is for lots of other people. So there you go. Um, I was listening to a quite a fun podcast, a pair of podcasts, actually, from Behind the Bastards. It's called, I'll, I'll put a link down below. The first one's all about Bitcoin cryptocurrencies and the second one's all about nfts and in particular it's about all the shadier goings on in these worlds and 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 also some of the big failures that have happened in the past the bitcoin one was uh, rife with stories about um, inexperienced teenagers ending up looking after billions of dollars <laughs> and uh, not managing very well to keep it safe in losing it in various ways to hackers and thieves and also just by accidentally deleting their files. <laughs> um, so it's by, don't be tricked into thinking that this is a, some kind of foolproof, perfectly safe way of investing your money. It's, it's uh, rife with, with all kinds of dodgy dealings. Uh, when it comes to F NFTs, uh, there are also several scams and things going on there too. One of the most common seems to be for people to have multiple accounts and then to buy a piece of art and sell it within you know between those accounts repeatedly pushing up the price every time pushing up the uh, the hype around that piece and hoping that somebody will then stumble you know just think oh look at this piece of art going up in value i ought to get on on board and buy in before it gets too high and i missed my chance and then ending up piece of piece of art that is artificially inflated that nobody else wants to buy anyway so um there have been some artists that have made money out of it there's chap called Beeple who sold a piece famously for 69 million but even that isn't completely devoid of some suspicious activities and things the person who bought it um, has since um, built a whole new sub cryptocurrency or crypto system around it so you can now buy into that Beeple purchase by buying small chunks of it and various other artists that he's bought since um, so it's all just about trading really it's just not something i'm particularly interested in but the um the scary part of this whole thing is when it comes to the blockchain so these transactions and purchases and purchases and things are all stored in this huge algorithm called the blockchain and it's supposedly unhackable and unmessaboutable with but it that's not true at all um and the, the scary thing for me is that it uses a huge amount of energy a huge amount of computing power so if you've ever tried to buy a decent graphics card recently you'll find that they're a bit in short supply because of this and and the sheer amount of power used is just mind-blowing the the bitcoin blockchain supposedly uses as much energy as the netherlands at the moment and every transaction could power a typical american home for about six weeks an nft uses about two and a half times more electricity than the typical u.s families per day so that just kind of puts it in perspective and for me i'm fairly concerned about the environment um, this is just the kind of thing that we, the world doesn't need at the moment so no I won't be doing an NFT anytime soon thanks very much <laughs> um, but if you do want to support an artist then do so because their art fills you with joy you know get find an artist you like and buy a print or an original or commission them to do something especially for you and then when you put it on the wall and you look at it every day hopefully it will fill your heart with joy rather than thoughts about how much it might be worth that particular day. Hope you enjoyed that. Do leave some comments down below and tell me if I've got this all completely wrong. Um, I always like to read those. And uh, yeah, see you for another film soon. <laughs>